Clarice 5.5 is bringing us some cool new features. And one of those might have been overlooked, but it's super powerful, so I wanted to go over it. So before I jump in here, this video is in a 29 by 21 by 9 aspect ratio. I did a poll, see if people were bothered by that, because uh, normally it's 16 by 9. So you guys will have to let me know whether or not you guys care whether it's 29 by 21 by 9 or 16 by 9. I have an ultra wide monitor, so it makes things a little bit easier for me to record in 21 by 9, as well as it's a little bit cleaner on the layout for Clarice at least. So just let me know and we'll go ahead and jump in here. So start off here, let's go ahead and drop in a grid and we'll scale this up. Got something like that. And I am in our PBR viewport here with our GPU set. So I'm gonna create a point cloud and we'll just parent that to our grid here. And let's create a Clarice light, or sorry, an Angie light, I should say. And maybe we'll just scale this up to maybe like one meter. And let's crank up some points here. So we got like 100 points now. And then we can go ahead and create a scatter. And then we can plug our light into this scatter which is not something that we were able to do before. So we'll load up our point cloud there, and then we'll just load in the light here. And you can see that we're not getting anything that we're expecting. Let's crank this up a little bit to 100. And let's just move our point cloud up a little bit as well so it's sitting kind of above our grid here. And I do have a material here just to throw on, give a little bit of roughness. but. As you can see, we can now scatter lights inside Clarice. And if we go ahead and look at our, our render view here, I do have this set to the GPU render as well. Cleans up and it looks super good. So uh, light scattering is something that I've been looking forward to for a while. It's something that I thought I was gonna be able to do when I got Clarice, but I was mistaken. And then they introduced the emission importance sampling. So that made things a little bit easier to kind of scatter some lights or fake scatter some lights, but this should work a lot faster than the emission um, materials, which actually don't uh, support emission important sampling inside of Angie yet. It is coming, but like I said, early access, there's some things that aren't quite yet supported yet, uh, but this is something that is supported. So play around with lights. You can go ahead, let's say you're building a city scene and you wanna put a bunch of like street lights in there you can now make a group with your light material or with your light uh, object and then you can put an actual light in there and use that for your lights which is super super cool and something that was definitely uh, definitely needed with the capabilities that Clarice has so anyways hopefully this is something that you guys didn't miss if you did now you know and you can start throwing those in your scenes. But anyways, I have a bunch of other videos on my channel about Clarice as well as Houdini, Redshift, and some Cinema 4D and Octane stuff as well. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you guys check those out. I do plan on having some more stuff coming here on Angie and Clarice 5.5, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.